Alright guys, a uh, little update here. I was on Facebook Marketplace, a little place up in uh, Carter County, Kentucky. Um, had this uh, tongue and groove uh, pine. And uh, I priced it here locally and I thought, you know, that's probably going to be out of my re reach to do my cabin house in these uh, in tongue and groove. But uh, they got a truckload in. And this is uh, probably cabin grade. This is not select. It's got some big knots and, you know, it's uh, got some knot holes and some bark. It's not the, it's not the high end stuff. It's uh, definitely uh, more on the rustic end. But a uh, 10 foot section uh, of this is $5. So uh, there is 32 pieces of one by six by ten and then I got 20 14 foot and all that everything loaded on my truck 300 bucks now that's pretty expensive but I think that 14 foot is going to do this end wall and this is going to do this wall and I probably have enough to do part of this wall. I may not do all this wall in that because I went out to the local mill and the boys were saving me some of this. Now this is rough cut. Uh, I'm going to have to plane it a little bit and uh, do a little bit to it but uh, it's rough cut and I think that'll make a nice uh, backsplash and that's full one inch lumber there so i'm thinking maybe i can do something over here uh around the uh, upper part of the kitchen here with that and uh so i'm just gonna have to buy some of this as i go but uh with what i got here i think i probably of course i'm not going to do this back wall until i get my sink where i want it and the plumbing all that's figured out because i'm not covering this wall until all that's done so we'll probably do this wall insulate it and this wall and insulate it and uh, get these two uh, buttoned up because all it's in there is electrical I'm going to have to bump my boxes out because they're set flush with the studs by the time I add another three quarter inch of a uh, tongue and groove that's going to recess that box back in there so far uh, I just hope I can get them out easy enough to, uh, they're not a problem. But, uh, I'm gonna have to bump all them out, uh, three quarters of an inch. So they'll set flush with the, uh, tongue and groove. But, uh, other than that, that's, uh, what we're gonna be working on here in a little bit. This is my last day off. I worked last night. I worked all night and, uh, uh, had a couple things to do today and I seen this and I, I got to measure and I thought, well, maybe, maybe this isn't completely out of my price range. So, um, I went and picked up, uh, this is, uh, 52, uh, pieces of, uh, tongue and groove, uh, wood. And, uh, that's actually, you know, not bad stuff. So I'm going to start insulating here in a little bit. Actually, I'm going to go, we're going to go out. My son-in-law had an appointment. He's going to be gone. But we're going to go out and work on the uh, on the uh, electric pole and get all that switched over and fixed up and ready to set. And uh, then when it gets a little later up in the day, starts cooling off, we're going to come in here and do some insulating and uh, maybe start uh, putting up some of this uh, tongue and groove. Uh, I really like the looks of that. Uh, uh, it's it's going to be pretty. I think I'll just put a clear coat on it of some kind and leave her pretty much like that. Just seal it up where it won't uh, turn a funky color and let her go. Maybe some tongue oil or I don't know. What do you guys recommend to use? Uh, some, uh, I don't know. I've never just done raw wood and leave it to where it just looks like it looks. So I've always painted or stained or something. I don't want to stain it. I just want that color. So maybe some tongue oil. First piece of insulation up. 
a uh, little staple gun works good. That's the little arrow uh, stapler. Shore makes a lot quicker work. I tried it with the old uh, handheld here. God, it takes much hand strength. I can't do it. I can't get them to to set. I have to push on the top and so got some over there in the shower. Got five rolls here. Uh, Son-in-law said he had an extra roll left over from what th their last project. So hopefully this will be insulated. I got uh, roofing uh, felt. That's going to go over top the insulation. That will be give a black background to the to the tongue and groove. So any knot holes or anything that has a little light going through them uh, will will not show through you won't see the insulation so you'll see that and it'll give a vapor barrier so anyway uh, got some more stuff to work on the electrical pole uh, some conduits and my uh, elbows uh, a new weather head and some uh, things uh, some quick creed to set the pole in so hopefully we'll be doing that by, I got to work the rest of the week now. Like I said, I worked all night last night too. And I uh, had to go to the hospital and sit with an inmate. So anyway, I haven't been asleep today. I've been doing doing stuff. I, I know if I went to sleep, I wouldn't sleep tonight. And and uh, I'd be uh, tired tomorrow and got 12 hours to pull tomorrow. So anyway, guys, uh, just a little update on what's going on. And uh, till next video, maybe we'll have a little bit of this done. We'll see you guys later.